Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Yasmeen. I am a mom and a reseller over on Poshmark and eBay. All right guys, so this is our first morning in Indiana. We're gonna hit up some yard sales. Uh, before that, I think I'm gonna show you guys some clips just of like our road trip. So feel free to fast forward to the vlog part if you don't want it, I will keep it brief for you guys. to our first yard sale. I hope you guys can hear me. It's a little bit loud. They live like super close to an Amazon facility. Here comes Daisy. Let's go find some deals. The sign said huge yard sale, but this is what we've got. So we will see what we find. Doesn't really look like a huge yard sale, does it, Eliza? No, it does not. Oh, I'm so dead. <laughs> This is my cousin that we came to see. Hey. <laughs> okay, let's go shopping. Oh, those are kind of nice. Are, are these kid size or mints? They're mints, but I don't know. Uh, Kale's 10 and a half. I'm like, at, I know, Adam wears my love. What do you have on your Nikes? Which ones? Those, the ones that look pretty good, three bucks. Okay. Uh, I got quite a bit of Nikes. I went ahead and picked up most of those. So I spent $25 at the first yard sale. And now we are off to a neighborhood sale. So we'll see what we find. Since I am on a trip, I didn't bring like a ridiculous amount of cash. I think I only have like a little bit over 200, so can't go too crazy. And we're already done with the first one and already 25 in, so we'll see what happens. I am super excited with the finds and stick around till the end of the video and I'll do a little mini haul for you guys. Well, I say mini haul, I have no idea what I'm gonna find, so we'll see. It could be like a full out big haul, but we'll just have to stick around and find out together. Thank you. Um, on that bag, mm -hmm. watch the clip. One of them sometimes will open oh, up. Oh, I get what you're saying. So just be careful with it. But okay. other than that, it's, it's great. Thank so. you. Daisy, look what it is. Daisy. Oh my gosh. We used to have this. Hey. Let's see what Liza says. Eliza, do you remember this? I do remember that. Do you remember me tangling your hair in it? Hi. I'm honestly shocked that we were able to get up this early because as you saw, we were up way late. We were actually up past 2 a.m. I just didn't take any clips past one. Uh, and we got yard sailing probably like 7.30, which I feel like is a success. We're all up by like 6.30. Daisy, do you feel tired? I feel a little bit tired, so I'm hoping these donuts are gonna give me the energy that I need to power through. Is what a good brand? It was a guy telling me about it.
see this free people skirt mm -hmm. i was debating whether or not to get it because free people denim doesn't do great mm -hmm. but as i was deciding guess what sold a free people skirt the only other free people denim skirt i had someone offered me 29 on ebay so i think it's a sign so we're gonna pick it up i think this one will do better too because it's like pink and i think it's cute. cuter all right it is the next morning i'm ready to film a haul and show you guys all the goodies we found yesterday Let's start out with these boots. So this brand is called Twisted X. Uh, these look like they retailed for like 200 bucks. Some of them like 150, others 200 plus. I listed these at 90 just because they have like a little bit of wear. There's some scratches on them. And I'm actually using its mate as a uh, holder for my iPad to keep it upright. So, yep, doing that. Uh, I went ahead and listed these already because I thought, why not? I listed these for 90 just because of the wear. So we'll see how they do. I've never sold that brand before. You think I haven't filled a thrift haul before? I forgot to tell you guys how much I paid and where I even got them. Okay, they came from Goodwill. I paid $9.99 for them, so 10 bucks, And they just came out on a new cart, so I brought them back with me. So the funny thing is that we're actually riding back in a Prius and there's three of us. So I really had to be selective about what I bought, but looking back at everything that I got, I don't think I was selective enough. So it's gonna be an adventure to see if we can fit all this stuff plus us, plus everything that everyone else bought into the Prius. Cause my sister bought an air conditioner, like the AC unit. So this is gonna be fun. All right, anyway, we got a Melissa and Doug wooden magician kit and it is new completely like an original seal packaging it's wooden uh it was five bucks so i picked it up it looks like it's going for around like thirty dollars on ebay but that's with free shipping so i might try selling it locally instead all right we have this Verrera bradley cute little double bag i've been looking for an overnight bag for lily which is my daughter so i thought this one would be perfect and it was Five bucks. So I, I feel like you can't beat that. Literally the night before I came on this trip, I was on Amazon trying to see if anyone could like overnight a duffel bag for her, but no, it wasn't gonna work. Plus they were all like 40 bucks and upwards for the cute ones. So wasn't gonna do that. Alrighty, more Melissa and Doug. So this is like the foods that stick together with Velcro and then you can cut them. So she's gonna love these. And it has a cutting board. It's just so cute. It's five bucks. This stuff is like at least 30 at the store. And for a kit this big, you may even be looking at 40. I believe these are awesome, Melissa and Doug. They're just little pots and pans. Uh, Lily has like a little play kitchen, so I'm sure she's gonna love these for it. Hey Lily, look. You can cut all these too. these toms these were two dollars gonna go and take that sticker off so they don't mess them up later on got these at a yard sale uh they're real leather these are a size nine and a half so a great size the bottom tread looks like there's not a lot of wear on it uh so my cousin's little boy's coming up right now which i'm not sure if she wants him on camera or not so i'm gonna have to ask her about that hi junior you gonna help me film I'm thinking this particular pair will probably sell for like $28 to $30. So I went ahead and grabbed them for two bucks. Thank you, you are such a big help. This is heavy. It was heavy. If you sit right here, they can see you. Yeah. There you go. 
All right, we've got Junior with us now. He came up to see what I was doing. This is my cousin's little boy. All right, so this is actually stuff from the first yard sale that I went to. We have got a big old bag of Nikes. There's some strawberry. There's some strawberries. Yeah, there is strawberries, huh? So these are the Nike Air Versatile. These are a size 10. These are in amazing condition. I mean, the treads look great. Um, I'll put comps up here for this particular style for y'all. $3. Yeah, I wasn't going to leave those for 3 bucks. But I'm pretty sure these are Kyrie Irvings. Could be 100% wrong, but I think these are Kyrie's. Okay, so these are, I say, 10 and a half. Funny enough, my husband has this pair in white, so I think he's going to be pretty stoked because these are his size, so now he can have them in black, too. And it says Nike Zoom on the bottom. These were $3 as well. I think these are another Kyrie Irving. See, I can't tell with that scribble. I think it's a... Mm. I can't tell. There's a little scribble on the bottom, and I think it's a signature, but it's hard for me to see it. We got these blue ones. These are pretty swaggy. I mean, look at the colors on these. These look like they're a smaller size. Yeah, so these are a seven use. So these are a little boy shoe. They were $3 as well. So I will run comps and put them up here so you guys can see how much those shoes are selling for. This is a Goodwill find. I picked up these, they were $4.99. They were on the new cart with those boots that I picked up. I actually was in the checkout line and I saw them roll out the cart and I just ditched the checkout line even though I'd already been standing in it for like five minutes, so like see ya i'll come back in line later so this is the brand 27 edit they are real leather and they've got this beautiful suede they're in great condition i've never sold this brand before but they feel like they're well made so i will put some comps up here so you guys can see how well they're selling these are for my lily they're just these little pink crocs and i'll try and insert a little clip for you guys here of her when she gets them these are a size six and i think she's gonna love them they're just kind of like me. You like Crocs too? Yeah. That's cool. I we got like we got to put those on the worry on on the, the football soccer balls and we have to put baseball. The, we have to put the Crocs on the footballs and the soccer balls. Mm -hmm. Oh, your Crocs have footballs and baseballs and soccer balls. Yeah. Ah. Uh, I think he's talking about the little accessories you can put on your Crocs. Are those mommy shoes? Are those mommy shoes? Oh, they're your shoes. sold in anthropology it's tracy reese this dress is so cute and it is a size um zero petite i couldn't find any flaws with it but you never know when i'm photographing maybe i will it's got like this cute floral dress underlay and then it's got this lace overlay it's just so beautiful comps looked like they were going for around 40 so i couldn't leave her there she was seven 99. Okay, this one is the free people skirt. This one is a size 8. It's nice and stretchy. I couldn't find any flaws with it. It's really cute. It's like a beautiful dusty pink color. It's more of a like stretch material than it is a denim. But I think she's ready for a new home. And it's got a hook and eye up at the top too. I'll put comps so you guys and see how much. I just sold a denim one actually while I was there, which you guys saw that clip. That was kind of funny because so I was like, oh, should I buy this? My other denim mini skirt has it sold and lo and behold, I get, I get an eBay offer for it right there. Okay, next we have got this Pittsburgh Steelers Nike sweatshirt. Guys, this thing is in great condition. It's a bigger size too, so I think it'll do well. It's a size large. I'm not sure how the Steelers are doing this year. If their team is doing good, then this will probably sell better. But Goodwill had it for only $4.99. And I feel like this is super nice, so I picked it up. I'm thinking this is going to sell for at least 30 bucks. We're just surrounded by bags at this point. Alrighty, just a couple more things, and then we're done with our little haul. Let's 
Reese's bottle. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. This Should we talk about this one? Yeah. So this is a Winnie the Pooh little um, onesie. This is a size 12 months. It's actually Disney Baby. It's the brand. It was 50 cents. I just thought it was adorable. I thought Lily could wear it and then maybe I'll sell it around Halloween time for maybe around 30 bucks. This is a Cup She Swimmy. It is brand new. It still has the liner inside. Uh, what size are you? Size medium, new with tags. So I thought this Swimmy will probably bring about $35 on Posh. This is stuff for Lily. This same yard still I got Winnie the Pooh from. So these were 50 cents a piece. Just a little children's really place cardigan. Downstairs. Okay, thank you for helping me, Junior. Yeah. Uh, so I got her this little tank top and this little cardi to go on top. And then I got her a little skirt as well. This is Janie and Jack, which does really good. It's a great kids brand to go with it. So I just thought this would be a cute little outfit for her at 50 cents a piece. So I have $1.50 into that outfit. These are some American Eagle jeans, also 50 cents. Um, sorry, I said jeans, jean shorts. These are a size 10, and these are the High Rise Festival. So I'm thinking these will bring about 25 bucks. This stuff goes over here. Then we have this American Eagle dress, this cute little halter top dress. It's a size large, super stretchy. They wanted a dollar, so I grabbed it. I'm thinking it'll probably bring about 28 bucks. Okay, then I got this Air Jordan jersey. It's a size extra large. I think it's an extra large boys, possibly. I'll have to look into it. Well, maybe it's men's. It just doesn't seem like huge, but I guess jerseys are supposed to be tighter fitting. I'll have to add measurements to see. But they wanted like five bucks for it, so I picked it up. They look nice. It says 1982 on the bottom, but I don't think it's vintage or anything. And then I got a pack of <laughs> these diapers. They're just like a night diaper. I don't know the brand Good Nights. They have Elena of Avalor on them. So I figured they might be more expensive. I'm not going to sell these. I'm going to keep these for Lily. I mean, two bucks for however many pull-ups is in here. I felt like it was pretty good. So we grabbed them. And we've got this Star Wars Battleship. It's electronic. It has all the pieces. They wanted $5 for it. This is something I'm not sure if we're going to be able to fit in the Prius, but we will see that together. I personally really love the game Battleship, and my husband likes Star Wars, so I'm just going to give him this for Father's Day with some other things, so... Hopefully he'll like it. It will probably end up being like the Lord of the Rings risk. I got him for Christmas one year and he ended up just giving it to his brother. So this might end up being his brother's too. But we'll see what happens. Last but not least is this cute little Melissa and Doug ice cream shop. This is the first thing I bought. It's just so adorable. It is missing the vanilla cone. Well, Maybe it's not been missing the vanilla cone. Maybe it's in the car somewhere. I'm going to have to look for that. If not, it's pretty much complete. They wanted $10 for it. I've been wanting to get Lily this set for a while. Uh, I'll put the exact retail price here. I want to say it was over $30. I have looked at this at the store before, and I have been really tempted to buy it for her. But because of what I do, I see Melissa and Doug's stuff fairly frequently. I've just been holding out. I was like, I'm going to find it. We're going to find it. I found like the case before, but it was missing all the pieces. Uh, but we got lucky today and we found it. And I'm sure Miss Lily is going to be super excited and my husband is going to be like, oh wow, you brought home a lot of toys. Well, that's okay. Mm -hmm.
You did it! Good job, Lily! Yay! I'm gonna end the video right here for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed kind of seeing our first day here in Indiana and our little car ride up. Uh, stay tuned. I will have another Indiana video coming up soon. We're going to be doing some really fun things. I believe we're going to go to the bins here in Indiana, which is super exciting. I can't wait to see what treasures we're able to find. And we're going to do some more thrifting today. So keep a lookout for that video. If you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing. If you do subscribe, let me know in the comments so I can thank you. And if you've been here a while, go ahead and leave me a comment and just let me know what you thought about this style of video. And we will see you guys hopefully in the next one. Bye!